you feel you know is very common no matter whether you're a social startup or a regular startup I mean you've been an entrepreneur so um, I'd like to hear that story from you uh, getting people in line to ready to talk at the same time is is, uh, is a challenge I think it's going to be less of a challenge for us when we have a thousand members rather than the 200 and change we have now because we're spread around 200 and change spread around the world mm -hmm. um, it's you know and people with different schedules on top of that it's hard to to get people talking um, but um, we'll find ideas often from ideas watch um, mm -hmm. and, and move them over to that community bootstrapping social startups and then um, people talk about hey um, I have ideas for this and um, I'm not a back-end guy but I'm can, can, um, front-end HTML um, PHP um, uh, skills CSS um, and I'd be interested and then and then others maybe chime in so so we move towards um, Building new things, and I'm also uh, interested in in, in um, starting other other projects as well. So I'm That's one of them. Good. No, I, I mean, so uh, let's shift back to you know right tag a little bit, and since we're on the business uh, side, you know, mm -hmm. uh, so you know, you created this 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 um, app or you know web app um, that or web tool that looks at hashtags and optimizes them for people to get the best reach. Uh, how do you plan on monetizing this? Everything will be free. Ordering custom reports will cost. Um, so, yeah. Um, and there's a public library. You can save reports to your private library Keep and no one can see them. Or to the public. The public library continues to grow. So there are tons of reports that'll be available to anyone. Um, already we can actually share them. I'll um, share public reports, Twitter and G+, Facebook. Anyone can click on them. You don't even have to sign in or be registered for, for right tag to use them. Um, but then, yeah, custom reports, they actually cost us um, with, with many API calls. Um, and repeated API calls um, and refreshing and such um, and then running two servers and two offices 24 hours a day they're right. they're hard costs so so yeah the the reports um, will be a paid feature what now what, tell tell the audience about what you know what what is a custom report and you know to, to just to give them an idea you know use an example of you know maybe and like like he let's let's use the earthquake or something I don't know. You you, you, can, you enter a term. There's there's yeah. just one query box at the top. You enter a term and you you click on which networks. Twitter's selected by oh. default. You can deselect that, but you've got nine social networks. Um, if you want to sell your um, flower boxes on eBay. We have eBay integrated, right? You want to know which tags to use on eBay. So more eyeballs are on mm. what you're selling, more likelihood that you're going to get more money for what you're selling. So it's worth something to you. Um, if you're promoting an, an event, maybe you're charging for it and you're sharing that in Twitter, G+, um, then... Um, more eyes on that is going to tend to, to lead to more sell-throughs. So, so getting hashtags that reach, it's worth something to you. Um, but, but yeah, so a custom report, you enter your term, you click on which networks you're going to be sharing to, and you order the report that with the button. So, so basically a custom report is, is, is a unique... Word group that you want to get some information about on various networks. It's one that doesn't exist in the public library. You know if it's in the public library because if you enter the term in that query box and it or and a report already exists, we'll, we'll give you a link to it right on the side. We'll say 